Hi, my name is Florian Kohler. Here with me is Jamilet. Today, I'm gonna cover a very common question, is how can I up my game? So we're gonna go study a little bit of strategy, a little bit of pattern playing, and basically how to get better in pool. If you've been following this series for a little bit, you know now how to play pool and you know the proper things, but the main mistake, well, it's not really a mistake. I mean, the next level for you when you want to get better at pool is simply to think ahead. So a lot of people, you know, their, their average skill level, they just try to think about a ball or two, but really in a game of pool, you want to try to think as much ahead as possible. So when I approach a table, you know, the best advice I can say is after you break, start to analyze your layout, you know, look at it, see how many balls ahead can you think ahead, try to think the best, uh, try to find the best spot, the easiest shot, it's, uh, it's a little bit complex like that to explain, but after practice it starts to get together. Um, really the best thing we can do right now is just, I'm gonna break this table and hopefully I can run it out. Alright, so it's a pretty decent break. I kinda lost my cube a little bit, but got lucky here, still kind of in the middle. So at this point I'm gonna analyze the table. So I'm gonna first, so I made the, I don't even know what I made. It's gotta be in there, so I'm gonna look at what I made first. Uh, so we have a three, so it's a solid. Again, in the international rules, it doesn't matter what you make on the break, it's just a ball, so you know, if it's a solid or stripe, doesn't matter. I still have the choice between solid or stripes. So at this point, I'm looking at the table and I'm trying to figure out which one is the easiest to run out. Stripes are pretty good here, the 11 goes, 15 doesn't really go, the 12 goes here, the nine goes here. It's not too bad, really. But that 13 here, I do not like it. It's blocked here, it's blocked by the two, it's blocked by the four. So to me, that's already, you know, that's not good. Now the solid is already made one, so there's one less on the table. The five goes, the four goes. If I play good shape on the five for the two, I might be okay. Six goes, seven goes, and one goes. So to me, that would be the ball to go. Um, if I wanna make the two here, I gotta clear the table, that ball first. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the four. Play shape in the middle of the table. All right, so that's pretty good. So according to my plan, I got my ball in the middle here. So now my clear, you know, my plan is, is pretty clear. So I'm gonna try to make the seven here, then go around here. I don't go for the six, but mainly I'm gonna try the one because if I get good shape on the one, I can go from the six. Then from the six, I could go down to the five. And if I play good position on the five, I'm perfect for this, the two ball. And then I have a chance of moving, you know, towards the eight ball. Again, you know, it's the plan I have as soon as I see the table. So, you know, I think one, two, three, four, five, six balls ahead. But, you know, don't, don't bother. Sometimes it doesn't go according to the plan, so you gotta change your plans, but it's really good to have one. So we're gonna keep going. So seven into the one ball. I'm pretty good here. So I'm gonna keep the plan. So what I wanna do is I wanna look at the six ball here. So I'm gonna try to find my line here, look at my tangents. So it's pretty good, you know, all I gotta do is push a little follow here, be straight there. So if I look at my white ball, I want it to be somewhere around the one ball here. All right, so we're still pretty good. Now, hopefully I left myself a good shape for the six. It is not as good as expected, but I'm okay. So all again, all I gotta do is try to push the white ball somewhere here. Go out there. All right, so that's pretty good according to the plan. Now it's the tricky part really because you can see I don't have much space here. So I got a few different options. So I'm gonna make the five, there should be no problem. I need this angle to make the two. But the two is, uh, is gonna bring me either into the eight or either into the 13. So I can't really control that. So I really have to think here. Um, you know, my best guess is uh, I'm gonna put a little follow, sort of carry them out at the 13 and put my white ball somewhere here and then the A ball should be in. So again, go back to it, make the five, just like that. All right, so I cheated the pocket a little bit because it was easier to control, but as you can see, I got great shape. I don't have really a problem to make the eight ball, and I should run out here. There you go. 
you know, whenever you run the table, always try to uh, focus on one zone first. So let's say you got a lot of balls here. Try to run this side of the table first, then go down. Then also, you know, is get rid of your problem as fast as possible. You know, if I got something like that, and you know, I had to play the, the stripes for some reason, you know, don't leave this problem for the end because th this is really not good. You try to open your cluster as early as you can because you don't really know what you're gonna get. You see, in that case, I hit it pretty good, but I got another cluster, so now I got to hit another stripe. But you know, it's still better than what I could have got. So, pattern playing is basically, you know, refer to whatever we just did, which is trying to think balls ahead. That means, you know, you're gonna try to find the easiest layout for you to make the run out, you know. So never try to complicate it. But sometimes it's just, you know, it's just not possible. Um, you know, let's say, uh, let's say your opponent left you in a really bad position and, and you have no other choice than play a safety. You have to know how to play um, a safety shot. So let's say, you know, I got something like that or actually it doesn't matter. Let's just try this normal safety. So let's say you got this and, uh, you know, you can't see your eight ball. It's mask or something like that. In some games, it's just impossible to run the table out. You know, sometimes it's got too many problems and, and really it's too dangerous to attack because, you know, if your opponent is really good, if you leave a ball, you know, it's going to finish and you're done. So sometimes you just gotta play a safety shot, you know, something like that, for example, you know, it's very easy. All you gotta do is just, you know, mask the ball here. Your opponent really can't do anything. You know, he can't see a ball. There's many safeties, so there was just one, but you can do, you know, things like that. So let's say your, you know, your stripes, and you know, all your stripes are messed up, and you wanna try something like that. Just put it behind it, you know. When pattern playing and running out the table doesn't work, just remember, play safe, make it difficult for your opponent to run the table out. You know, safety is never to be underestimated and uh, it's a very useful tool in the game too. Now remember, you know, to get better pool, it's definitely a lot of practice. Try to think ahead, pattern play, safety, and uh, really, you know, I'm gonna say it again, practice. This lesson was slightly different than the other ones, but I hope you got some good things out of it. Uh, it's very hard to explain you how to get better pool, but you know my biggest advice again is practice, practice, and practice, and the more you get used to it, the better you'll be. Again, remember, uh, if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel right here, and don't forget to check out pooldog.com for all your pool and builder supplies.